Hello all, uh, welcome to Bike Wallet. We are here at uh, India Bike Week 2022 in Goa. And what you see here uh, with us is the Royal Enfield uh, Himalayan by Auto Engina. So I'm going to give you a quick uh, walk around of this bike and uh, tell you everything that you need to know about it. So I'll uh, walk you through the engine first, which is the highlight of this bike. So it's essentially a pair of uh, 411cc engines from the Himalayan stitched together. Mm -hmm. However, a lot of mechanical tweaks have gone into this. And as you see here, it gets a different head, a different block, a different clutch plate. Even the oil supply has been changed and uh, Auto Engina says that uh, this engine also gets a new clutch plate. And uh, the gearbox has been retained. The bore and stroke value and the pist uh, pistons uh, also remain unchanged. Now Auto Engina says that this motor pushes about uh, 50 bhp and 55 Newton meters. Mm -hmm. But they are yet to make a dyno run for it. And uh, now that we are done with the engine, I'll uh, move towards the cycle parts of this bike. Now, what you see here is a lot of uh, custom work uh, went uh, gone into this bike. Uh, so I'll start with the suspension first. This is essentially, essentially the same suspension as the stock Himalayan, but the stiffness has been uh, increased and even the damping rate has been changed. Uh, what the braking setup you see here is from the KTM 390 Adventure, but considering this bike makes a lot more power and weighs a lot more, Auto, Auto Engina has added a secondary disc as well, so it's, uh, it gets a dual disc setup. Even the axle has been lengthened to uh, add more balance and uh, go with the bike's uh, performance. And now I'll uh, move towards the back. Um, what you see here are Shinko tires, but one highlight is uh, that this uh, spoke wheel has been sourced from the Husqvarna 450. And now I'll uh, move towards the design bit of the bike. So uh, naturally, a lot of work that has gone into the mechanical has uh, been uh, complemented by the cosmetics. So the bodywork that you see here has been done by Autolog Design again from Pune. So I'll uh, give you a quick uh, close uh, look up of this uh, bike. So you see the headlight, it has been sourced from Husqvarna, then it gets a custom made front beak, the front side fairing, even the lower side fairing at the rear, the 3D printed uh, fuel tank. And you'll also notice that this 822cc Himalayan has been equipped with a lot of uh, accessories. However, uh, Auto Engina ma manufactures all these bits at uh, in-house, in but uh, these don't come with the bike. And if you want to order any of these uh, hard case side panniers, the top box mount or even the handlebar uh, guards or the engine crash guard, you can get in touch with the Auto, auto Engina and uh, they'll set you up with one. So we talked about the mechanicals, we uh, talked about the design, we talked about the underpinnings. And uh, let's uh, have a look at its ergonomics. So as you see here, it's a little bit of a task uh, to swing a leg over considering it's equipped with uh, all the uh, accessories here. Now uh, the chassis has been lifted by 1.5 inches. Again, the chassis has uh, been custom made. And uh, you can see I'm tiptoeing. For reference, I'm 5'10". Now the reason I'm tiptoeing is uh, 2 inches. Uh, there are two reasons for it. First is the chassis has been lifted by 1.5 inches and uh, considering this bike uh, sports a much uh, wider engine, uh, flat footing is a little bit difficult and uh, now talking about its uh, foot pegs, these are quite center set and the handlebar is again placed uh, towards the rider. Now if I had to stand up and ride, you can see it will be quite comfortable. Uh, again this is my perspective from a standstill, things could be a little different while riding. And uh, there's quite a bit of weight on this bike, so getting it off the stand or even moving it around, you'll have to be a little bit careful. So now that we are done with the ergonomics, uh, let's uh, hear its exhaust note. Now uh, that's all we had to tell you about uh, India's only Royal Enfield Himalayan A22cc parallel twin by uh, Auto Engina with the bodywork done by Autolog Design. So Auto Engina took about uh, three months to get this build done uh, right uh, around uh, IBW, and uh, as you see, it has gone gotten a lot of mechanical and cosmetic tweaks. So what do you think of this bike? Let us know in the comments below, and uh, as always, like, share, and subscribe to Bike Wallet.